Hey everybody, welcome to a special bonus episode of the No Vacancy Podcast. Well, today we're all about finding ways to help you folks save money. That's why we're going to be focusing today on a great friend of ours over at Almo Hospitality, who is really your go-to partner to simplify FF&E deployments for the guest room and beyond because they have industry-leading brands, the latest hospitality trends, and distinctive new-to-market brands coupled with their specialized business development and hospitality-dedicated sales teams. Almo Hospitality is the division of Almo Corporation, the nation's largest independent distributor of professional AV, consumer electronics, major appliances, outdoor furniture, housewares, and a whole lot more. So in today's podcast, we're going to be talking to uh, Mark Wright of Wright Hospitality to uh, talk about how um, he finds a lot of value in Almo and conversely, how you as hotel owners and operators can utilize people like Mark to wind up saving money through the Almo system. And then we're going to talk to Robert Voorhees of Almo Pro AV to learn a little bit more about a deal that could save you folks a lot of money every single month and how to go about doing it. I'm talking real money delivered straight to your bottom line every single month. So you're not going to want to miss this kind of stuff. This is no joke. This is a really easy thing for you to do and for you to send more money straight to that bottom line. That's what we're here for at the No Vacancy Podcast, helping you uh, educate yourself, entertain you, and empower you, and in this case, save you more money. So let's go straight to the interview with Mark, and then we're going to go right over to Robert. This is going to be a great time. I hope to see you guys soon out there on the road. Thanks for listening, and you're going to love this interview. This week, we're... uh, we're talking about things a little bit differently. We want to be able to help hoteliers get a better understanding of how they could save more money by doing the right thing by the guests. And speaking of the right thing, i got <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mark Wright with me of Wright Hospitality. Mark, sorry to start off with such a, a horrible pun with your name. That's Mr. Wright to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. Wright now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, Mark, I want to know a little bit about... Uh, who you are and what you do to get us started with this conversation here. I think it's important to orient people that might not understand the type of things that you bring to the table to help hospitality professionals be more successful every day. Well, thanks for having me. Number one, it's yeah, great. Sure. Welcome to Vegas. And uh, yes, we are in Las Vegas recording this. And we're uh, nice here at the new remodeled uh, Park, Park MGM, 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 right? So. It's a great place. Thanks for having me. Yeah, sure. So tell us a little bit about the uh, the company there. So Right Hospitality, we are. Uh, uh, a professional rep group, okay, mm-hmm. uh, focused on gaming and hospitality, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it's me and my two boys, and we've just actually hired uh, a new business development manager to be joining us actually tomorrow at the HD show. Wow! So it's first introduction. So yeah, it's a, we're a family owned business, and we have worked real hard the last several years to find uh, professional, uh, really upscale manufacturers to represent and, and to. To, to market and sell for here in the hospitality and gaming industry. So what does that practically mean? If I own a, you know, if, if I own a, a hotel here in Las Vegas, not necessarily one owned by one of the med- mega corporations that we're sitting in right now, but some of the other ones around here, if I was a hotel owner, why would I want to engage somebody like you? Well, I think, you know, the experience, number one, I think, you know, it's my 31st year in the hospitality business, uh, you know, uh, 29 and Right. of it here in Las Vegas, number one. Um, having the breadth of products that we have, right. I mean, I think you, you have the opportunity to, to, to look at 78% of all your FF and E needs and either get it recommended through us, buy it through us, or find another way to um, to get what you need right. based on your needs. Right. Uh, so it sounds to me like uh, you do a lot of the work for people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rep- we represent manufacturers. Right. Okay, we're the eyes and ears. We find opportunities. We tell them how they need to change their marketing and their products to fit this certain markets. You know, it's a small city. But we have from from you know from two and three star up to five star. We have inexpensive. We have really expensive, and then we have Park MGM, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty cool. I like this new room. It's really cool. yeah. So uh, yeah. So you know, uh, being that this is an audio medium, and you're talking about how much you like the room. What is it that you like about the 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 room itself? 
Well, the artwork's cool. Yeah. I mean, the layout. There's a bench seat here that we're working from today, and you know, it's it's just different. It's different than in most rooms in Vegas right now. I can tell you, um, lower beds. You know, a little shorter bed frames, and uh, but I, and plus these are these I don't know these autumn colors, just the greens and the uh, the dark green and stuff works with yeah. the the beige carpet. It's it's a really cool place. Yeah, I, I think it's a, it's amazing how they turned a. Uh, a forgettable building and i don't mean that in an insulting way i just mean it didn't right. have anything to connect with you emotionally into something that i think really resonates with uh, today's customer right no i get it we talked about that earlier monte carlo was a, certainly a brand that did well for them mm -hmm. but kind of lost its luster and right. kind of a little bit of, of what it was really supposed to be yeah so uh, t tell me a little bit about um you work with uh, the good folks over at at almo and a lot of the uh, the av services right so what are some of the things that you're thinking about top of mind that hoteliers should really be engaged in in order to service their guests and maybe not spend as much money while trying to accomplish that well, you know, that's a great question, and uh, we have a partner with Almo, and we are one of several of their <clears throat> probably really established rep firms that they've had for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're one of the distributors that really right. gets the hospitality business. Yeah. Um, they have made a, a complete effort, concentrated effort, to not only develop products for hospitality, but do it in a different way, to distribute them, warehouse them, work with work with uh, resellers like myself that have a lot of experience right. that can do more than just buy and sell uh, TVs or wall mounts or projectors. So they've, they've got a, a array of products and now services that we benefited from, um, and they re really help you manage the whole thing. So Hotelier can, can buy a lot of products through one reseller, mm -hmm. get it managed by a, a really great company that's focused on hospitality, and there's not too many technology distributors that are focused on hospitality. Almo is really at the top. Wow. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, it, it's great how they have the whole pro AV division. And now they're really focused uh, really hard, highly on the hospitality industry itself. But one of the things that I know you're involved in is um, you're you're helping hoteliers deliver um, better uh, Wi-Fi and TV experience and all of those electronic Googles you need now in order to even get people to stay at your hotel. <laughs> exactly. So one of the opportunities that they brought to us a couple of years ago, a year and a half ago, was uh, this new NoBox system. Right. Where we can sell the voice data. What's it called? NoBox? NoBox, mm -hmm. right? And so we sat through this thing, and I'm like thinking, another distributor, but, you know, these guys are just getting it right. Mm -hmm. they, they know to grow hospitality, you need hospitality people. Mm -hmm. You need to focus, and not just on the big four or five stars. Where we're at today, they got to figure it figured out. These guys are locked into whatever they're doing. But I got a lot of friends that own HOA properties and, and Best Westerns right. and, and every brand and every flag, 200 rooms or less. Yeah. So, you know, they gave us the opportunity to go sell a product and service. So all we have to do is put them together. And there's a great value. So I have a client that had five hotels. We literally saved them $400. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, a lot more than that. We have five properties. We've saved them about eight hundred dollars at each property for voice data and free to guest every single month. Every single month, and the reason why is everybody's concentrating on the, you know, the Cox and the, the you know Cox and who the other Comcast and all the big digital right. Wi-Fi companies, right? You know, and Wi-Fi has been a big issue. We've had these conversations ourselves about oh, Wi-Fi. We're going to have another one very in, shortly in hospitality <laughs> because it's changing bandwidth and the needs are changing for hotels. So we get it. So. Uh, Almo got it right away. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, we can take advantage of this. And having this opportunity for, for us to go down the street and sell more than just a TV, which I'm only going to sell you a TV in a Walmart once every seven or eight years, okay? Right. So now we have an opportunity to, to show you a product and a service that can not only save you a significant amount of money, that goes right to your bottom line. My particular client owned five hotels, him and his partners, five hotels, $4,500 a month to his bottom line. Wow. That is hard to find. That is uh, really hard to find. And that is in an environment where we need more and more Wi-Fi than ever before. The average hotel room is seeing three and a half devices um, in, in the room at any given time. I mean, I travel with my, my phone, my iPad, my laptop, and maybe some other stuff to make this, uh, this podcast work, right? So I'm, <laughs> right. I'm definitely a band with Hog, and uh, I, need, uh, I need more hotels to partner with guys like you because it's fine for me to work in my room at 11 a.m., but try it at 6 p.m., and it becomes a totally different story. You know, totally get it. And, and what we found now is not only are we offer significant savings, we're able to upgrade their service. Mm -hmm. The issue is if you signed up with somebody eight years ago for Wi-Fi and, and your voice and data, 
and nobody's come around and you haven't shopped it around, I promise you, you don't have the highest uploads and downloads. Right. You don't have the best price. You don't have the best margins. It's just not going to be. And you don't have a million people out beating down the doors to small business, small hoteliers. To um, And it's, it's not just for hotels. Small size manufacturing plants, um, you know, small businesses. Could be a UPS store, McDonald's, mm-hmm. you, you name it. Anybody with Wi-Fi or phones coming in or out can look at this product and service. And the best thing about it, Alma supports it 100%. Right. It's, a, it's a great program. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. How much uh, bandwidth do you suggest a typical three star hotel use? That is that is totally a subject that's for another conversation. <laughs> uh, it depends on who, who's traveling there. If it's a if it's a truck stop on right. the side of a highway, you probably don't even need it. Okay, right. nobody's using it. If you do, you don't need much. Um, you don't need much bandwidth if you're just answering emails. And we found that out seven, eight years ago. Right. Everybody had enough bandwidth to answer emails. But as soon as somebody started bringing tablets in to stream movies or watch Netflix, um, now, now you couldn't get anything. Yeah. So I'm not the right person to ask that. But my team at Almo and their engineers, they will right. tell you exactly yeah. <laughs> what you need. That's right. the beauty about what I do. And that's I just need to find the opportunities and, and bring them to them. And they really do all the work to, to really find the right product and service for what, like you said, depends on where you're at. Right. So tell me, um, how difficult is it for hoteliers to make this change to go ahead and start saving four, five, six, eight hundred dollars a month per property? The number one thing they have to do is dig in and provide all the information so we can look at exactly what they're going through now. Right. Who the provider is, what they're paying, how long they've had it. And then we, they, they find a way to find out all the carriers in bulk that have the bandwidth in that area. And they kind of leverage them against each other and come out. I kind of give it like the progressive auto thing. Right. Or the kayak thing. When you yeah. go, I'm going to stay here. And it scans every single thing. Boom. It pops up. It gives you three or four options that you didn't even know about because mm-hmm. they're not often companies that you hear in public. That, that provide some of this. So they find right. that situation and they spit out a great little proposal and go, wow, that can't be. And they're like, yeah, it is. And, and now I'm proof positive that it's a great program. And um, all of these companies, they use kind of the same infrastructure out there in the world, right? They just um, are buying access to different networks. Exactly. And then you could pass those savings on to the end users. Exactly. Excellent. So um, what else do we need to know about the, uh, the the future here and making sure that you have enough bandwidth and that you're adequately supplied while saving money? Well, I think that if you get in a partnership mm-hmm. with us and, and, uh, and, a, and a distributor and a partner like Almo, they'll come out and evaluate it for you. They'll find ways to upgrade you. You could actually contact. They can come out every year and make sure that your needs haven't outgrown them wow. themselves and, um, and see if there's something else you need to do. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Much better than uh, when I got locked into a long term contract in my uh, my home with the uh, you know with the cable provider. You know, doesn't it kill you when you see an ad on TV? It's going, hey, you can get this. I'm right. like, wait a minute, I already have you, and I'm yes. paying a lot more. Why can't I just do I have to quit and then? Re- that's right. I find that stuff so offensive, uh, right? It's you same, and me both. It's the same thing with the cell phone carriers. It's like, uh, you know, new users get this. Uh, yeah, new users get this amazing plan. The people that are loyal to us, screw you. <laughs> you don't deserve the same discounts as the newbies do. But I guess that's a conversation for another day. Mark, how can we, uh, how can we find you? Well, you could find us uh, on our website, righthospitalitylv.com. Mm-hmm. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. That's W-R-I-G-H-T, hospitalitylv.com. Um, or you can call me, 702-521-7342. And um, we'd, look, we'd love to help you with your needs and, and find out what uh, what you're looking at and see what we can do to help you. And I, I, you, could, you work all over uh, the, the country, the world. Just because you're based in Las Vegas doesn't mean you focus on Las Vegas. Only. No, absolutely not. We've got projects going on in almost every major city of the country, from, from uh, you know, AV stuff like this to uh, no-box stuff to uh, LED video walls, furniture, lighting. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Um, and I'll tell you, Almo actually has their own line of outdoor furniture now that we're, we're marketing to hotels, too. So. Yes, that's the uh, the Cape Soleil line yeah. by uh, Agio, which is uh, absolutely terrific. I encourage you all to look at that. They've got um, all sorts of different patterns that kind of complement each other, but all look a little differently. And the cool thing about that is you can um, you can start off with certain pieces of furniture and then continue to add to it. And as you know, the outdoor hospitality experience is as important as the indoor experience these days. And I'm thinking that you might be able to put some uh, technology outside too. Well, we do have some technology ideas for outside, quite frankly. We do some yeah. rechargers, cell phone, cell, you know, uh, solar cell phone chargers, t- things like that. But I will tell you about Alma too. Think about this. Mm-hmm. Five years ago, distributors had nothing for hospitality. Right. They had products. Now we have. Now we have a distributor that has 
all hospitality or majority of hospitality mm-hmm. things whole different it's the dynamics are changing we feel blessed to be part of their family and uh, be one of their partners and resellers and and uh, and uh, look forward to uh, working with them in the future too great and i want to thank all of you guys for listening to spark and we'll be right back after this with another great conversation this time from uh, mr robert Voorhees of alma himself to get more into the details of the type of stuff that you are thinking about right now so we'll be right back after this All right, welcome back for our second interview in this exciting podcast on how hoteliers and folks around the industry can save some money by being smart and implementing some uh, easy solutions. So I brought with me today Mr. Rob Voorhees. He's a business development manager over at uh, Amal Hospitality. Rob, how are you today? I'm good, Glenn. How are you? Great. So, you know, we were talking to uh, to, to, to Mark Wright about some of the exciting programs that you have uh, out there that's enabling hoteliers to save money and giving folks the opportunity to be more successful in their businesses in a world where expenses are starting to creep up. Rob, how are you seeing things from your perspective at Almo Hospitality? Yeah, it's a great question. I think, you know, in this day and age when, when a lot of our partners and resellers tend to focus on the the tangible products when when they're working with certain hotel groups and uh, and even you know smaller motels, but we're trying to to find a different avenue, a different approach for them to get into these businesses, and when they're inside that business, maximize not only the value that they can provide, but also the revenue that they can earn you know on the back end. So. Through our, our services program here at Almo, it really enables just that. Our, our partners are now able to really become a full solution provider. That's something that, you know, Almo really uh, strives to do year in and year out. But it now allows our partners to do that. And it really creates a better relationship from the right. end user to our partners to us. Um, and it's been extremely successful uh, over the past several years now. Yeah. Oh, so, you know, for, for, for folks that are, are, are listening to this, that don't quite understand how Almo hospitality works is they work with a great group of uh, resellers and they're always looking to partner with new professionals to help get the message out to hoteliers that will ultimately save money. So it's a great opportunity for you folks out there that are interested to be in the middle of all of this. So how does this program work and what are some of the specifics? Sure. So through our services program, there's really four different avenues, one of which I'll, I'll center on today. Um, but there's uh, labor programs where we can do everything from unboxing and setting up guest room TVs, appliances and things of that nature. Um, there are control systems and remote programming. That's more of a behind the scenes, monitor all the services and all the the actual hardware at a property to make sure it never fails, it never has any downtime. Um, and there's actually a really cool mobile app that allows you to monitor that from the property. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and then there's uh, digital signage content creation where if you can imagine walking into the lobby of a Hilton and you see a large digital sign, maybe it has airport times on it or a menu for their bar, whatever it might be. Uh, we actually have an in-house content creation group that will handle all of that from front to back. Wow. Um, and then the fourth part, which which I manage, is business communications. Um, and, and as I mentioned in the beginning, that really focuses on the actual services that make all of this hardware run. Um, everything in this day and age, whether it's in, in a hotel or a commercial establishment, everything requires some type of bandwidth. So we do everything from providing the actual internet connectivity, uh, the free to guest uh, TV services for the guest rooms, uh, voice services, security services. Um, and even we started getting involved in uh, a really great mobility program and we've seen some traction with hotels that are doing away from walkie talkies as their method of communications. And now we can supply actual mobile devices to the entire staff at the property. Um, so it's really about using communications to bring everybody together. And especially for the guests, give them that at home experience that they're looking for when they're traveling. 
Uh, that's, that's absolutely right. Guests demand that at-home experience right now, and hoteliers are looking for smart solutions that are going to help them lower their cash outlay. It's getting harder and harder for hoteliers to be able to continue to push rates, so right now, the name of the game is lowering expenses. So if you're a reseller out there and you could find great creative ways to improve customer service while lowering the expenses, I think, Rob, that is the perfect solution for everyone. Plus, everybody gets to walk away with some money. I would absolutely agree with that. And and to kind of expand a little bit on, on what you just said about, you know, everybody's trying to watch their cash uh, outlet. Um, you know, everybody's trying to save, but at the same time, technology keeps getting better. Technology keeps getting faster and it requires that these services do a lot more. So we're not seeing hotels, uh, you know, with 25 meg download speeds uh, with cable internet. A lot of properties now require fiber to be at their properties. So one of the things that, you know, we've been very successful at on this program is not only shrinking that cash outlet from the property, but also giving them more features at the same time, whether Ooh. that be a faster download speed or a more efficient solution. So we have a number of different ways to really explore what they currently have and then not necessarily take features away to keep their costs low, but we explore what they currently have and then try to find ways to shrink the price while offering more at the same time. Um, and it, it, the way our program is set up really enables us to do that. And that's what's helped make us as successful as we've been. That's right. So we're really talking about getting more for less, which is uh, absolutely uh, uh, essential today. One of the biggest complaints that hotel guests have right now is the lack of speed on the Internet. And I talked to uh, Mark about this piece, too. But for, you know, for folks to truly engage with um, the hospitality experience like they do at home, having a fast, robust Internet, for example, is absolutely critical, especially at those high demand times. They're also, if you aren't able to supply that as a hotelier, it's your leading guest complaint. So what a great way this would be now to spend less money while improving guest satisfaction, which will ultimately help you create better loyalty and might even be able to uh, to keep you from having a lower rate to compete with the customer, the new hotel down the street. Absolutely. And it's no different than, you know, what we experience as consumers in our own homes. If you are in, a, you know, a typical single family home and let's say you have 100 meg download speeds with your local cable provider. Right. But then but then you have two kids, a spouse, you all have mobile devices, you have a smart TV in two rooms of the home. I think you're describing my life here, Rob. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I mean, if you're like my family, you have multiple tablets and phones. And it's what a lot of people don't realize, you know, even in the commercial segment is when you have all of those devices they're all tied into your internet. They're all on Wi-Fi. Um, you know, some homes now have security systems on Wi-Fi and, right. you know, lights on Wi-Fi. I mean, everything is using that bandwidth up. So now think about a, a, a common hotel uh, location with a hundred plus guests who all have multiple devices, multiple TVs in the property. And you, you kind of get my drift that, oh yeah, you know, in, in this day and age, you can't just throw, 100 TVs into a hotel and say, okay, we don't have to touch the bandwidth. It's, it's an essential. And like you said, one of the number one complaints of guests, um, because I've had many times where I've, I've gone traveling and whether it's for work or for pleasure, and not only does the TV not work, but I can't get on the internet. And it's, it really just sets a very poor tone for, for that overall stay. So you know, yeah, I, I'd like to think that we are providing a really essential service here. Um, and it also, like I said, enables you to really explore how can we save on costs? Because I think you'll find with our program that we have so many options. There's a way for just about everybody to save money on their bills that right now they're not aware of. That um, is that is a, a fantastic. So I, I guess that... Um, the big message here is they should reach out to you in order to find out uh, more ways to, uh, to to save money and for those resellers, uh, new paths of success to make even more money. Absolutely. I, I, you know, we, we've not only done it for, you know, obviously the, the end users, the customers and the properties, 
Um, but even some of those resellers you mentioned before and the thousands we have across the country, they'll call me to look at their own services. And a number of our, our wins over the past couple of years have come from actual partners of ours who want to do business more efficiently and, you know, maybe save a little here and there. So um, absolutely, that would be a great action item. And there's no, the, the quoting and the proposals that we do um, with over 170 different service providers across the country, um, there's no cost, no risk to any of these quotes. Um, so we can absolutely work off multiple, multiple solutions for every property. All right. I want to thank everybody for listening to this very special bonus episode of the No Vacancy Podcast. Now, if you want to reach out to Almo, find them at hospitality at almo.com. That's hospitality at almo.com, and they will be able to help you save money. If you want to do a little bit more research, learn a little bit more about them, those folks, check out hospitality.almoproav.com. I know it's a little tricky, but it's okay. You can remember it. I managed to somehow as well. That's hospitality dot almoproav.com hospitality dot almoproav.com and again the email address is hospitality at almo.com or if it's all too much for you to remember just drop me a line glenn at rouse.media or find me on social media at traveling glenn thank you so much for listening to this very special show i hope you guys save some money see you next time on the no vacancy podcast hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo.